Hey guys, it's your buddy Horstikovs, uh signing in for a moment before we start the gameplay. A couple of notes. I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, I have a Switch I'm picking up today, which I'm pretty excited about, even though I'm going to continue playing the Wii U version of Zelda uh, for you folks. I'm totally stoked to be finally getting a Switch. Uh, you know, I have a lot of faith. Of course, I always have a lot of faith in Nintendo, but I have a lot of faith in Nintendo that uh that they're gonna make it worth the while and the slight markup i'm gonna be paying from the security guard at work but of course i always have a lot of faith in nintendo a lot of times they disappoint me fingers crossed um also uh in this footage i did about two hours of footage last night and nothing too remarkable happened a lot of wandering around and shit so i'm um, playing at 800 percent speed we're just gonna zoom around and bullshit around a little bit um yeah so uh yeah okay let's do this okay so like i said there's not a lot that happened in my play last night so we're going to condense two hours plus of gameplay wandering around in the wilderness into 16 minutes now the downside to that is there will be no audio in this, so I'll find some nice little background music on YouTube. Uh, again, you know, my impressions of this game just get better and better and better. I mean, it's it's beautiful. And the weather is really cool. The, the day-night cycle is really cool. My one concern about tonight's gameplay was that I kind of could not find a way to proceed and and that's not so much on the game as it is on me um couldn't really find a way to proceed for quite a while and then eventually i kind of stumble fucked my way uh, into how to proceed so but you know one thing i will say about this game and it is a neat feature is that whatever you need to do Whatever your objective is, if you can come upon a way that you think you should be able to accomplish it, the game's pretty good about letting you accomplish it that way. Uh, you'll notice a few seconds ago, I found a wooden wall, like in between that was covering up a hole in some rocks. I don't have bombs yet. I have not found any bombs, uh, so I fired a uh, like an explosive arrow totally worked totally worked uh, at some point in this footage I used a giant hammer to blow up some rocks that a uh, that bombs typically in a Zelda game would would require you know would require bombs giant hammer worked just fine sorry guys okay now uh, this part I don't know if I fucked up something permanently or what you're supposed to chop these trees down and have them bridge the gap i chopped every tree down in the wrong friggin way and now no matter what i do they will not grow back i'm hoping when i start the game back up they'll have grown back it might just be a matter of a day 24 hours or something i don't know i'm so sorry guys um, I found the old man's cabin and he's willing if I can figure out a recipe that he forgot to write down for uh, like a seafood gumbo with meat in it to keep warm in cold environments so give me some like a toasty doublet or something like that that'll keep me warm uh, that sounds pretty important because I'm finding a location on the Great Plateau that um it's cold and it hurts me to be in it and I have wasted my entire food reserves trying to survive in it while I fiddly fart around up there so it would definitely behoove me to get the toasty doublet or the warm doublet or whatever it's called one aspect of this this uh, version of Zelda that I'm really enjoying is the combat and that's that's not usually the case you know I, I hate to harp on it but um I've not been terribly impressed by the 3D Zeldas. I know that's sacrilegious. 
Uh, certainly, I acknowledge their importance, but not the most fun games in my opinion. But um, this is this is freaking awesome, guys. You know, when I'm wandering through the woods here and it's raining and I'm walking through shallow water and there's fireflies all around me and, uh, you know, it's like changing to night and skeletons are popping up. This is what I always wanted Zelda to be. And maybe this is more about my expectations than about the game that I wanted a game all along that was remarkably un-Zelda. So this is a cold area. Um... But for whatever, whatever that says about anything, that's what this game is. And I mean, it's definitely, I'll say this, I just bought this. I'm not going to give up on this version, of course, start over. I could see myself double dipping on the Switch version for this. Totally, totally. Another reason I wanted to, uh, uh, 8x the speed of this footage is I die a shit ton. Uh, the, like I said, you know, there's a lot of falling off cliffs trying to find out how to get where I need to go, particularly with the stupid uh, trees I fucked up here. You're about to see. Got the axe and I, nope, that's not working. That's not working. Not working. Son of a bitch. Son of a switch. trying everything I can think of to just freaking do something here and the damn trees ain't coming back hell I'm trying to blow them fucking things across no dice in the immortal words of Charles Bronson I tried resting a fireplace no luck I kept hoping that he would maybe be like, oh, here, let me show you how to bridge that divide. No, 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 no. Oh, guys, I'm always on the edge of exhaustion. Always almost falling asleep driving. It's all for you, Damien. It's all for you. I sacrificed myself for these 15 minutes. See, I don't know what the fuck to do about this gap here. Now, I did manage through some judicious climbing of rocks and shit. I'm getting pretty close to getting over there, I think. But damn, without that doublet, it's rough, man. I may have to look up that recipe and see how to freaking earn it off of him. But, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, wild boars, yeah. Um, I think it's a good commentary on the game, though, that I am I was having a hard time progressing last night because I fucked up. Not the game fucked up. You know, the, the game has been exceedingly fair. And as you see, I have, I've been burning, I was burning through my food just trying to survive up here. The enemy encounters so far have all been absolutely stellar. You know, it's a very fun combat system. I'll be interested to see, uh, you know, I haven't seen any really big enemies so far. I know there are some absolutely massive ones in here, so I'll be interested to see how that goes. I just, you saw me just die trying to get one of those hammers I was talking about that can blow up explosive uh, or destroy explosive areas one thing that happens uh, in this playthrough well you'll see in a little bit I did find a couple of the um, oh god I can't remember what the hell these things are called trials yeah yeah see that stasis this one was pretty easy stasis is pretty handy 
And it has a cool effect with all the chains. Now one one cool feature of this that I didn't get at first is that this when you put something in stasis, you can whack at it and it saves kinetic energy. See? And it just made that boulder fly off. I'm getting shields now, which is cool. Yeah, it's it's an interesting power. <clears throat> I haven't really had any luck using it in combat yet. I don't know that it works on. Uh, normal enemies. I've seen it used on bosses in other videos, but we shall see. Right now I'm just trying to friggin' survive. Freezing climates. Thanks for the hot tip. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of uh, fast travel, but one can only beat their head against the wall so long. Eventually, you say, fuck it and do it, man. Lost a lot of good equipment last night. You know, just to breakage. Some of this shit doesn't last very long at all. And you do get attached to uh, some of your weaponry on occasion. Spears are cool in this game. You know, I got to give them credit. Usually, I'm a pretty big fan of spears in games. Uh, spears and shields are always where I want to go toward in a Dark Souls game. Not that this really plays a whole lot like Dark Souls, but I always felt like the Dark Souls uh, gameplay was almost like a uh, kind of a modern day extension or you know, evolution of the Zelda formula. A little bit. I also think it's kind of like a uh, spiritual successor to the Castlevania franchise thematically, in a way. But yeah, look at look at this. Uh, going through an enemy encampment at night in the woods and shallow ass water, just slaughtering everybody. That's what I wanted in this Zelda game. I think that's great. So I, will, I have not been thrilled with the audio quality uh, with my the mic on my webcam. It just it isn't working for me. I've been watching the videos I've been releasing and I can't hear shit. You know, it's just a big grumbly mumbly bullshit mess. Uh, so I have a mic arm coming for my Blue Snowball, which is the mic I'm using now, which is a very nice, crisp, clear microphone. It's just the size of a fucking softball on it. It's like a pound of friggin' mic in my hand here. And can't play games and have this, so I'm gonna have the, the arm to just hold it in front of my freaking face, clamp it to a table, and we'll get you some quality audio to go with this terrific Nintendo gameplay. And I certainly intend to be offering you guys some Switch stuff. Uh, not sure what I'm going to make my first Switch game. Uh, I'm thinking the new uh, the new Shovel Knight uh, Shovel, Shovel Knight spinoff. I already own Shovel Knight twice, which means I already own Spectre of Torment twice uh, on the Wii U and the PC. But it's only ten dollars on on you know for the for that spinoff on the Switch. So I'm thinking of just biting a bullet on that. Because other than Zelda, there's not a whole lot that I have to 
have to desire on the switch at the moment I know that'll change you know I know that'll change especially if they get GameCube on the VC that's gonna be awesome I love the GameCube great system great system this one was confusing to me for for a while this combat encounter how do I get up there I didn't even notice the drawbridge at first and then I ran out of arrows and there was literally no way oh, I'm so sorry guys no way I could get up there because I didn't have any freaking arrows uh, but the situation resolved itself eventually it was a real tough combat scenario guys it's been a quick and dirty uh, 15 minutes so far we're almost done here. I just wanted to post where I'd been, what I've been up to. So when I continue tomorrow, you'll have a fair idea of what's up, dog. Uh, so thank you very much for tuning in, y'all. You're going to see me finally crack this nut right here. Um, you know, tomorrow we'll have the full audio. I'm not going to make like a huge two hour long gameplay session. And I'll just record what I got and uh, we'll post it up. You know, ideally, I will be able to uh, do audio as I play. And until my mic arm comes in, I may have to do the webcam if I'm going to do that. I think I've got that audio about as clear as I can, though, and I'm not thrilled by the prospect. But we shall, we shall see. Maybe my mic arm will come in today. That would be great. It's a short work day today. Hallelujah. Only four hours. As opposed to my regular 12 to 14. Well, guys, like I said, this is your buddy Horse to Cuffs. Just a lot of wandering around and bullshitting around in the woods today. Uh, but it was a good time for me. And hopefully I respect your time a bit more by making it eight times faster for you. Uh, sorry about the lack of audio and sorry for how jumbled my audio has been. I'm taking steps to minimize that. Uh, want to thank you guys for tuning in please like follow subscribe uh, I love more subscribers you know that cold is brutal I need to get that double no two ways about it all right guys this is your buddy horse cuff signing off we're gonna start off on a new uh, new thing tomorrow this one right here later